This is what I would like to call other Mickey Mouse. They went for the green skin, the pointy ears, mm -hmm. shabby clothes, but he's wearing a shirt. You know, technically the child doesn't have a name yet, so it could be Mickey. Could be Mickey. In fact, it probably is. It's a really Star Wars-y kind of name, isn't right? it? Lieutenant Mick, green leader, checking in. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine him in an X-Wing? Uh, like... <laughs> just like the camera is like at normal height, but all you see is the top of his head. Just like his like, ears in the back. <laughs> Hey brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we are taking on the ultimate Disney fan quiz. Let's do it! In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Today we have special guest host, Mr. Scott Nicewander. Hello everyone. That's his voice. Scott actually edits all of the videos as well and has all of the witty little comments and such. Today he is going to be reading the 15 questions plus three bonus quiz master questions. The way that it works is that we do not get the multiple choice. But if we both agree that we need the multiple choice, then Scott can provide it to us. But if only one of us wants it and the other one's like, I know it, it's just too bad for that person. Too bad, so sad. Yep. Let's go. Question one. What number is on the Mad Hatter's hat? Whoa. Oh boy, this is, oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh boy, I'm thinking too much Harry Potter. I was put nine and three quarters, but well, that's not right. This is like, for someone who knows, this is not a hard question. Oh my gosh. Is it like a number and a fraction? I literally do not know. Okay. <laughs> literally, I would, I would go multiple oh. choice if you wanted to, but. I'm afraid I gave you a hint, but I also am so far from it. Okay, um, sure. Let's okay. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Oh, man, out On of the game. question I one. I don't see that I wrote an answer down, but we'll see. Yeah. 10 over 6, 10 sixths. 60 over 1, 10 over 10, or 100. Boy, my whole pad looks like a really, really unfortunate math problem. Okay. You guys okay. ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Ten six. Ten, ten over six. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. At first, I had sixteen over fifteen because I, I knew the top. I knew it was like a, an unresolved fraction that should have. Oh, an like, improper fraction. An improper fraction. Yeah. Yeah. Ten over six would be what? It like would be one and two thirds. Because you have be... one and two thirds. Yeah. 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 I took I took a whole step and just jumped right past one and four sixths. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Nice. I'm, nice. Yeah. There we math. go. We yeah. did it. The yes. rest of the math questions matter. are math okay. based. As well, <laughs> so. Can I ask, is there is there any significance to 10 and 6? Like, is that like the two dedicated times of day where you would have like tea or something? Oh. That's a good question. That is a good question. Don't know. Okay. That's what I was going with because we have a Dr. Pepper sign here in Roanoke, Virginia. That is like, what, 10, 2, and 4? Yeah. And those are like the three times of day you're supposed to drink Dr. Pepper. <laughs> According to the Dr. Pepper company. Yeah. 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 You should be drinking 3DP a day. I never knew that. I've always wondered what those numbers meant. That's yeah. what it's for. Yeah, oh, that's what fantastic. it's for. What great marketing, right? Right. It's like, you should drink three of me a day. Yeah. Well, he is a doctor, so it is a prescription, I exactly. suppose. It, right. Yeah. True, 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 yeah, true. Yeah. Actually, actually, if you watch Married at First Sight, you know that Dr. Pepper is actually a marriage counselor. I was literally just talking to Scott about this like, while you were swapping cards. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Question two. Nice. I don't think he does that anymore, but I'm going to continue doing it. <laughs> uh, what famous artist wrote and performed the songs in Tarzan? Oh. Yeah, you guys got this. This is a non-lore question. Uh, there's a couple non on lore questions. Great. I'm sorry. Okay. Great. Oh, my Disney will, will trip you up with these. Oh, for sure. Three, yeah. two, one. Phil Collins. <coughs> Phil the man Collins. That is correct. I'm so glad this was like Tarzan and not like Fantasia. And I've been like, <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. So that, that was, that ended up being like a reasonably easy question to tackle. But I was like, there are very few scenarios. Yeah. Like it could either be not even performed, but wrote would be like Moana. I would have had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that 98% of that question was horrifying to yeah. me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Question three. What name does Ursula go by when she poses as a human? Oh, oh, oh is mm. it this? Uh, 
This is what came to mind. Oh, I this is right. I, literally I had something come uh, to mind. I don't think it's right at all. Oh no. Okay. The, oh. Have, have I have I revealed this embarrassing bit of information that I would I had like a major crush on the girl that she like turns into? Wow. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yep. You would have made a perfect Prince Eric, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, apparently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I I am guessing. Oh my th god. Three, two, yeah. one. I well, said Veronica. Oh, I said Victoria. Oh, it's a V. Oh no. <sighs> you guys are so close. It's neither. It's neither. Yes. Oh. I'm so happy. The answer is Vanessa. Vanessa! Whoa! Okay, I accept. I, I'm fine with that. I accept. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also heard like, of Valerie as a. Eh? <laughs> Yeah. You, it was got a v. the V's. You got the we V's right. Yeah. How many V? How, how crazy that we could guess three female V names and still not get it? Shocking. Yeah. I think there's only like seven total. So question four: In the Lion King, what is Zazu's official title? This is this is so frustrating. Like, Cheech is never prosper. <laughs> I'll say <it> again. <laughs> <laughs> Zazu in the live action is the best part about the live action line. Oh my King. gosh. Nope, he made a Pumbaa, also just as good. He all, makes all, tied. all of those jokes in the animated version. Well, maybe John mm. Oliver just like really crushed it. Funny. He yeah. crushed it, yeah. Can I just say, as a quiz writing <clears throat> critique, quiz writing critique, this question starts with the context of in The Lion King, blah, blah, blah. The previous question just said, what name does Ursula go by? And just assumes that you would know what Ursula is, but oh. doesn't trust you to know where Zazu is from. Wow. This is something that I do when we're writing quiz questions for our Friday trivia yeah. nights, is very frequently, if I feel like it is not clear, I will provide context. Mm. Mm -hmm. But like, it's literally, it's a, it's a individual bias mm -hmm. because the movie that I'm talking about could be your favorite movie and you're like, yeah, we know. No, to me, I will leave it out as if like, that's part of the question oh, is knowing what it's mm. from. Interesting. Like, so apparently if we were both teachers, you would be meaner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows, yeah, that. Everyone knows um, that. You want multiple choice? I feel like I'm gonna know it when I hear it. No. I'll take multiple choice. Okay. All Gosh. right. Okay. Is it A, steward, B, major domo, C, butler, or D, attendant? This is actually not as helpful as I thought it was going to be. Me neither. I feel like at one point he says like, <clears throat> like, I am the king's blank, blank, blank. And it's like a, like a multi-word title. Mm, That's what yeah. I was imagining. I know. That's like, what I was also imagining. Yeah. Or like, as blank to the king. Oh, yeah. I, maybe oh, that is what that it says. Is. Okay. I don't, I can only guess. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. It says B. That's a D. The answer is B. Oh, yes! I was like, yes! I think they make a joke about him being like Major Dodo at one point. And I was like, ah, that must be why it's funny because he's the Major Jomo. Mm -hmm. it, it sounded the most Lion King to me, but like I mean, Steward also, I felt like that was what I had it down to was A or B. Now for the first Patreon quiz master question of the game. Uh, this question was submitted by Dakota and selected by patrons. Hey. Dakota gave us this. Sent us this. <gasps> Thanks, Dakota. What a weird Mickey. To get your questions in the quiz or vote on questions, go to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the quiz master tier. Question. Select all that apply. Which of the following animals do the guards turn into in Emperor's New Groove? Oh, how dare you. If you think you can get all six correct without answer choices, that would be extra cool. So. Do you want the choices or are you confident that you can list them out? Taking like our favorite movie and using it against I us. I'm confident you will at least get one. Yes. Well, I know one. Yeah. So, so hard. So hard I know one. I would go multi, I, I think I need the answer your options. Okay, I've listed four, okay. but. Okay, wow. I, I will tell you that there are, because I already said it, there are six correct answers, uh, but I will list them out for you. Gorilla, cow, meerkat, octopus, Chipmunk, Llama, Lizard, Whale, Warthog, and Ostrich. Six of those are correct. Well, the four I wrote down were there, so. Well, there you go. Good. Six of these are correct? There's a lot of guards, a lot of action. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said, obviously cow, ostrich, gorilla, octopus, warthog, and lizard. Ben, do you have the same thing or different things? I had gorilla, cow, octopus, chipmunk, ostrich, and lizard. Oh, okay, so we differed on chipmunk, chipmunk and, warthog. and warthog. One of you got it exactly right. Oh, okay. And that person is 
Jay. Yes! Oh! Oh! All right, we're back in the game. Oh man, I so, was like meerkat. I don't. I knew. I didn't think that. I didn't think it was anything small, which is why lizard was confusing me. Yes, I don't but, remember a lizard. Like whale and llama are both things Cusco yeah. comes yep. into. Well, and chipmunk just seemed too small. But I thought maybe it was like a curveball because Kronk talks to a squirrel. Yeah, so meerkat and warthog are Timon oh, and Pumbaa. Yeah. And I was like, oh, those are like good ones to throw in. Right. But like, I was like, okay. And then I knew, yeah, whale and llama are both obviously, man. Oh, oh, so close. Off by one. Question five. What is the full name of Hercules' mentor? Danny DeVito's character. whoop dee doo There's a note from Jordan here that says the spelling is going to be a pain, but it has to be correct because if you know it and spell it wrong, there are like multiple choice answers where it's like a letter off. Uh, so, oh, wow. Yeah. Goodness gracious. So this is almost what if we even went multiple choice, it would be like a weird way to, del to deliver the options. Potentially. I did, I guess, just now give you a hint because now you'll probably search for ones that are closer than other ones on the multiple choice list. Oh, but sure, sure, sure. I feel like That's... even with the multiple, even if I didn't tell you anything, with the multiple choice, you would immediately narrow it down to two because half of them are joke answers and the other two are like, could be. Could be. I am like so embarrassed to admit that I'm like just blanking on what Hercules calls him anyway. Oh, like what his nickname is. What his nickname ah, is. Ah, so That's you have a real understand. problem. So I am like, I am just like, I'm like my like brain walls just went up in every direction. Ooh, it makes me feel better about going with a guess. I also don't, I'm not entirely sure this is right. The difference at which we know Disney stuff to Harry Potter stuff is becoming alarmingly embarrassing. Well, yeah. If you want to do multiple choice, I'll do it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, okay. yeah. All right. I basically have to. So you'll know quitting pretty quickly here, Ben, that the uh, nickname is Phil. Phil! I'll just throw out the two joke answers right away because you'll know that they're joke answers. Philip and Philharmonic. Uh, Definitely not his actual name. Okay. Uh, so the other two choices are Philoctetes or Philotetes. The only difference is the C in the middle. Philoctetes or Philotetes? Is that C there? Or is that just, is that C stand for curveball? And it's not actually there. Would you, have, would you have had this? No. Okay. I it was, makes me feel a little better. I was close, but. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I oh, said wait. no C. I said C. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is good. The answer is Philoctetes no! with a C. Man. Oh my like, gosh. I totally gave you that one. You did. Oh my gosh. You did. And I you even, I was both. kicking myself because you were like, I'm not going to go for the multiple choice because it feels like I'm already ahead of you. Uh, I don't I don't think that I won a whole lot of favor with our audience though by also not remembering that he goes by Phil. So remember that if Ben wins. Remember that. Uh, mm -hmm. my, oh. my guess ahead of time was Phidippides, but I was like, that doesn't have an L in it. Why would they call him Phil? Philidippides? Would Disney take creative liberty like that? N well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> I love Phil's song in Hercules. I wow. like, but that's like, if things are too quiet in like a car ride, I'll just be like, so you want to be a hero kid? Well, whoop de doo yeah, whoop de doo Yeah, it's Ugh. like such a, such a great call being like, okay, so, you know, we're going to have songs. Danny DeVito obviously needs to have his own number. It's like if you've seen Return of Jafar, they were like, Gilbert Godfrey. He needs two in this one. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But then Frozen, Jonathan Groff, like one half-hearted yeah. duet Dude, with a just, reindeer. Just watched Hamilton for the first time two nights ago. Jonathan Groff, probably my favorite part. Oh, really? It's so funny. He's so funny. When they oh zoom, when they cut in close to him and he's just like screaming, singing, and there's like spit flying everywhere. <laughs> yes. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Like that, the way he's doing the <laughs> accent too, I'm not sure. Like, oh, it's so funny. Newest Disney IP. The right. Fighting of America. Um, Are there Hamilton questions? Uh, maybe, we'll see. Okay. Question six. You guys have had this one before. What song from Cinderella was nominated for an Academy Award? You can tell Disney's so proud of this. So proud. Well, hopefully I got it right then. Yeah. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Bippity boppity boop. Yep, that's right. Noise! Hey! You did it. I'm really loving the way I wrote boop. I feel like this could be a logo. If somebody wants to start the company boop, just let me know. Question seven. 
Who is the first character to speak the line, I like warm hugs in Frozen? I like warm hugs. I like warm hugs. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Elsa. It is Elsa. Oh, but she's even pretending to be Olaf. Hi, I'm Olaf. Hi, warm, warm hugs. hugs. That's the one I always quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's the, way, the best reading of the line. The you best. Guys, mm, fantastic. So guys, we're about halfway through the quiz now. Oh no. You know what that means. I don't know what it means. It's time for the halfway half point. Yay! Hey! The halfway half point. I wasn't actually going to do this, but since we already touched on Hamilton, let's do a Hamilton question. Oh boy. Great. Yep. Ben, have you seen Hamilton? I have not. Fantastic. This is going to go well. Mm-hmm. Question. Name the Schuyler sisters. That's it. Just was, name the three Skylar sisters. Just for, for what it's worth, they can see it anyway, but without knowing what the question was, this is the probably the best thing I know yeah. about Hamilton. Okay. That's as far as my trivia extends. The Skylar sisters? Yes. Just, there's three of them. There's three! Oh, excellent to know. Yes. Uh, okay. I'll tell you, they, they all share a last name of Skylar. So, I don't know if that's Handy. helpful. I'm embarrassingly forgetting the most memorable one. Ben, you're doing so much to like protect your screen. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I can't, I can't have Jay figuring it out. You've got secrets over there. Yeah, secret secrets. Uh, I'm not even sure I got the last one right. Okay. Okie dokie. Anyway. All right. So all three of mine share the same the same last name. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah, for yeah. what it's worth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. More uh, V names. Veronica, Vivian, and Vsauce. Oh man, Vsauce Skyler. Vsauce Skyler was uh, an incredible addition to the cast. Right, it's so funny when they're like parading out these sisters and the two older ones are like these beautiful women and then the third one is Michael from Vsauce. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought? Everyone's like, what? Crazy. Well, they are looking for a mind at work, so. Anyway, I had Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. Yeah, that's correct, All Jay. Right. I'm gonna give Jay a half point, Ben, if that's okay with you. That's, You're still winning by 0.5. That's okay, that's okay. I felt oh, like there was, a, there was a real shot in the dark there. Like if I had gotten that right with Vsauce, like mm -hmm. I almost feel like it would have been worth three quarter point, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you had gotten Vsauce right, that is an obscure character from America's Foundation. So. That's exactly what I say. Yeah. yeah all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's the musical about Vsauce, the real forgotten founding father? <laughs> it's coming. Question eight. This is a tough one. What sign hangs over Winnie the Pooh's door? Maybe it's not a tough one. Didn't Jason we just have this? Been. This no, on it was our on quiz. our trivia yeah. quiz, oh. and I wrote it. <laughs> you did. Oh, I got this one locked. Locked and loaded. I know that it's not Robin. That's correct. We did trick a lot of people. We did. Yeah. We did. Because like that's what it says. You're like, Winnie the Pooh lives under like blank sign. Yeah, I was living in the Hundred Acre Woods under the name of... Under the name of... Yeah, right. and it it's like sound... a joke. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's like the most Winnie the Pooh line. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> Mr. Sanders. I said Stuart. Oh, I got the is right. Sanders. Yes. Yeah. Jay got it. Oh yeah. So now it's up by a half point. Oh well. Oh well. That's actually one of my favorite lines from Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift when he realizes that he's gonna have to drive through the subdivision or mm. the, you know that's being constructed. Yes. And he's like, I'm gonna have to drive through this house. And he goes, Oh well. And then he just goes right through it and it's like, bow with the ball to bang to bang. Cause that's yeah. the song they're playing. Yeah. How would you guys pronounce what he's saying there? Ball with the ball. What is the word for something that sounds like what it is? Onomatopoeia. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's an onomatopoeia. I think he just threw to like some sheep in that moment. It was like, drop a hot verse and like, bah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, Me. thank you sheep. Oh, sheep. So, so far, how many other fandoms have we hit in this particular Disney quiz? Fast Parks and the Furious. Fast and the Furious. Hamilton. Hamilton. Star Wars. When did you hit on Star Wars? <laughs> You're right, we haven't. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Mickey the Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey the, the Mouse. Mouse. Now, for the second Quizmaster question of the game. This one was submitted by Madeline ba Bauer. Bauger? Unclear. Unclear. We'll roll with it. <laughs> we'll roll with it. Let's say Bauer. That sounds fun. Question. In the movie Atlantis, Milo brags about being a champ at what water competition when attending Camp Runamuck? Camp there are Run multiple choice for these, so if you need them. Milo was really good at something. A specific water competition. It's not like an Olympic level, like sport or anything. This is it's like just a like, joke. Yeah, it's just like a thing that he can do in the water that I guess people made a competition out of at camp. You got it? 
I certainly don't have it at all, but I'm thinking of things that dorky Milo could be bragging about. And I'm also just wondering like how much of a joke, is this like underwater chess or something? You know? It feels like, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Uh, it seems like the type of thing that he would say early on and then like somehow it would be like kind of relevant at some point in the movie. Sure. You know, it where does. it's like, it's like, oh, but now he's underwater, but oh, we forgot. I unfortunately just haven't seen Atlantis in well, real ages. No one's seen it for a real long time, Jay. <laughs> oh, hey, it. you're talking about the Lost City, not the movie. Yeah, correct. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. joke. Not Atlantis. lost on me. Not lost on me. I totally got <laughs> not it. Not lost like the city of Atlantis. <laughs> what? No! We just keep going. Yeah. Three, two, one. Second. Breath holding. Oh, I said blow rings underwater. You know, like where you like. Yeah, I like that. You're kind of on the right track with something trivial. Trivial. You're both wrong. Nice. Oh. Um, it is just he says he's really good at doing a belly flop. Oh, just like is that yeah. belly flop yeah. contest, which is funny because he's like such a like string bean kind of fellow, you know? Yeah, it doesn't seem like he would be good at right. flopping the bell. Mm -hmm. Flopping the bell. Quite a good question though, Madeline Bauer. It could be Madeline. Could be, could ah, be I was Madeline Bourgeois or something, you know? Oh, that's have really good. Butchered it. That's the stone taken from a stomach of a goat. Bourgeois. Bourgeois. A bezoar. A bezoar, yeah. Like, I feel like in the reading of the books in Philosopher's Stone, he's all like, Oh, you know, a little nasally. Yeah. And then by the end of it, it's like a bezoar. Yeah. You can use them to catch catfish. <laughs> Snape just goes from high class French ninja, <laughs> like from the South. But yeah, yeah. The American South. The American South. Yeah. Of which he is neither. Question nine. What's the name of the bat in the Great Mouse Detective? Oh, man. This is, it's like, uh, ah. Uh, Mm, I would do multiple choice. I, I would totally do multiple I, choice. Okay. 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 Oh my gosh. Okay. Is it A, fidget, B, batty, C, pigeon, or D, Mr. Tiggs? Oh. Uh, okay. 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 I got it. I'm, I'm locked. Don't I'm look, locked. Don't too. look at my screen. Mm -hmm. Jay, sometimes you honestly make it hard not to look at your screen. Don't look. The level to which you are unaware of how parallel to the desk you make your screen at times is shocking. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry to hear that. No, it's okay. It's your problem, not mine. Three, two, one. Fidget. I said A. Fidget is correct. Oh, well, for what it's worth, I at least had the letter F right. One in 26 shot. There you go. Of having the first letter correct. Having <laughs> the first letter correct. You just gotta have that same lottery luck for every letter and also guess when it ends. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, true. That's the hardest I could go, hard go on. This is like the number of subway combinations there are there it's like, there's over 375,000 different ways you can do it. Does yeah. it also apply if you ask for like, what if I want a little bit of like tomatoes? Is oh, that, that different than asking for like regular tomatoes? That is that a different choice? That clean up over 11 million, if my <sighs> math is correct. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Question 10. What kind of gold is pursued in the Pirates of the Caribbean, the Curse of the Black Pearl? And obviously it's cursed gold, but from what area of the world is the gold from? From what civilization is the gold from? Oh, this is frustrating. I've probably seen this movie like 20 times. Do you remember when we were kids and mom and dad for Christmas one year gave me one of those like DVD players? Yeah. Like that was like, <coughs> had, like its own little flip up screen? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it had like a, I think it was literally a three and a half inch screen. So it was like barely bigger than the Game Boy. Yeah. This is one of the movies I watched on it. Wow. Like just over and over again. Wow. But also, I don't know if I know the answer. I have a, I have a stab into the wilderness. Uh, I can like, I can like taste it. A metallic yeah, yeah, yeah. taste. Kind of tastes like gold. Kind of tastes like Same. gold. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but. All right, three, two, one. I put Aztec. I chose oh! Aztec. You're both correct. No it way! is Aztec. Oh! Nice! That's the best shot in the double dark we've ever had. Stab okay. in the wilderness, actually. Is Stab the in the phrase. wilderness. Yeah, I don't okay. know where that shot in the dark came from. Question 11. Who provides the singing voice of Shang? And again, they don't include the movie, but it's Mulan. There you go. I think I got that. that really, you know, keep it real far away from you. If you keep turning it anymore, I can almost see it on our screen. Ah, how terrible would that have been? <laughs> that would have been really funny. It was like, all right, you got it? No. Okay. Three, two, one. It's a Donny Osmond. 
Holy cow, I wow. was not far off. Wow, is that a total guess? I put Donnie Basketballs. Is, is he right? He is right, yeah. it is Donnie Osmond. Man, I cannot believe. Did you just pick Donnie out of complete nowhere? I did not know what it was. And for some reason, Donnie was coming to my mind. And so this is who sings Make a Man Out of You. Yeah. Okay, so he has literally responded to me on Twitter before wow. about this song. Oh, um, that must hurt. Yeah, it does. It does. I think that he was commenting on how very few people realized that he was the one who sang it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Including you. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic. <laughs> but Donnie Basketballs, like, let's all agree, that's a good name. Yeah. Do you yeah. ever make it in Hollywood, Ben? New stage name. New stage name. Hey, would you guys take a stage name? I always feel like if Luke becomes, like, a country star, he's going to go by Luke William, because that just sounds like more of a country name than, like, Luke Carlin. But maybe not. I don't I know. There's a Luke Bryan out there. Well, so. I know, but, like, Luke William. I don't know. It sounds real. It does. I mean, you know? it, it is his middle name anyway. Yeah, so, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. 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 For, for people who don't if know. If you don't know. Yeah. Do you ever think that people will confuse Luke Carlin as the name Lou Carlin? Well, see, that could be the problem. That might yeah. be why he's like, we really, we don't want people thinking your name is Lou Carlin. Oh, good point. Although, ironically, Lewis is my middle name, so. Wow. See, this is the kind of, kind of confusion you're trying to avoid. Unlike Donnie Basketballs. Unlike Donnie Basketballs. Everyone knows him, the guy from Space Jam. Question 12. What is the name of the pub in Tangled? Imagine if they didn't provide context for that. They're just like, what's the name of the pub? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not helpful. Right. Three, two, one. The Snuggly Duckling. That is correct. Yay! Also a question we put in our own quiz. A secret advantage. A secret advantage. That we write our own questions sometimes. Sometimes. Mm. And now time for our final quiz master question. All sorts of curveballs on this one. So many curveballs. Uh, this was submitted by Paul Rankin. Hey, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Question. What is the name of the ship in Treasure Planet? Oh, a complete... There are multiple choices. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. No, I've never seen Treasure Planet. Nope. So. Is it A, the Hispaniola, B, the Axiom, uh, C, Radiant 7, or D, the RLS Legacy? See, so the complete differentness of all of these makes me feel like they're all actually ships from other things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. probably. Well, I can only guess. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. I said C. I said C as well. No way. I knew it wasn't B. <laughs> it is not C. Oh. Oh. RLS. It is RLS. RLS. Oh, that was legacy. my other guess. That was my, that was my next one too. Yep. For some reason, that sounded like a Star Trek Kinda. ship name. Yeah. So that was, that was why I was like, I wonder if that's a ship yeah. from Star Trek. Question 13. Which of these ends up on Tinkerbell's head when she gets stuck in a drawer? This is from Peter Pan, by the way. Oh, you nice. don't say. A rubber band, a bracelet, a cup, or a thimble? Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Thimble. Thimble. It is a thimble. Uh, I wrote it down before. Uh, Did you? I didn't need the multiple choice, it turns out. Uh, People won't know. They'll have seen. You're still winning, Jay. Yes. Nice. Um, I mean, dang. Question 14. In Aladdin, which Disney character makes a cameo in the Sultan's Toy Tower? Oh man, this is annoying. I would give it a I would give it a confidence level twenty seven out of one hundred and thirty seven. So not great. Not super great. But not nothing. It's shot in the wilderness. Shot in the wilderness. A stab yeah. in the wilderness is what you said earlier. But look, language is evolving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? I mean, not entire. You just know it. You just know it. You I don't. Know. I don't. I don't know it for sure. You don't know it for sure. Something that came to mind immediately, and I just stuck with it. So okay, I'm just gonna go with my stupid answer. I feel wrong, but okay. Mm. I also don't know, but I, we've been stewing on it for a hot beat. So okay. Yes. Yeah. Three, sorry. two, one. I said Dumbo. Oh, I said Pumba. You're both wrong. Ah, oh. it is Beast. From it Beauty is and the Beast. It is Beast, but. Oh, oh man. I didn't. Man, okay, well. Do you think based off of that one piece of information, you could build a theory about how the entirety of Beauty and the Beast is just from the Sultan's imagination playing with his toys? I don't see why not. He's yeah. a goofy little guy. Sure is. Really could have solved the whole movie's problems by just listening to his daughter. Question 15. What kind of pie does Snow White bake? Uh, for context, this is the movie Snow White. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I saw those gears turn in and I was like, they need some help. It could have been Ralph Breaks the Internet. That is true. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Apple. 
apple. It is not apple. Wow. Man, it would have been so much smarter. Really, right? Right? Only you'd one think fruit she's associated Apple with. isn't even one of the multiple choice answers, which what? you'd think Come it on. should be. What quiz writing is this? That's what I'm saying. Uh, it is a gooseberry pie. Oh, gooseberry. Gooseberry. Hey, you know who has gooseberry eyes? Who? Professor Slughorn. Mm, gooseberry, you're right. Correct. So the winner by one and a half points oh. is Jay. Yes. The half point wasn't a deciding factor, Apparently. so that Thank makes goodness. me feel better. Thank goodness. Oh, man. Oh. That would have been oh. heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking anyway. It's heartbreaking anyway? It really is. Oh. Especially because I had Donnie basketballs. Yeah. Which, I mean, was right there. So that's like normally the right answer. Normally. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody Not in knows. This case. See, that's the thing. Donnie Osmond is his stage name. Yeah. <laughs> but if you if you look, if you check his Wikipedia page, someone help me out here, it is actually Donnie Basketball. Man, you wouldn't be encouraging the fine people of the internet to tamper with Wikipedia. Who would do that? I'm not tampering, I'm correcting. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might get another tweet from Donnie Basketballs. <laughs> Donnie Basketballs being like, Ben, now everybody's calling me Donnie Basketballs. So I had to change my Twitter handle. <laughs> to just Donnie, but the O is a basketball. It's <laughs> Jay, it's time for that time of the time of the month where we thank these patrons for their wonderful support over on Patreon. Oh, thank you so much, all of our patrons on this episode of Jay vs. Ben, especially Dakota and Paul and Madeline or Madeline, one of those. We're totally nailing it. Yes, it's, absolutely. We're just as accurate as Donnie basketballs. As even more accurate accurate than that. And a special thank you to all these other amazing patrons as well. Whoa! Oh, look at that person. That They have a good font right there. That one was a little different. That one's sparkling. Oh my gosh! You're, just, you're, you're making this more work I, for me. Whoa! <laughs> God did such a great job editing these patrons' oh, names. No. Also, thank you to Scott for being the special guest host today. Yes! That's oh. me. Guys, as always, thank you for watching and playing along. Be sure to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe. And if you want to see more Super Carlin Brothers action, you can check out this video right here. Or if you'd like to see Scott's video about Hamilton, you can check out this video right here. But until next time, bye! bye.